Hey everyone, welcome to the next episode of our web design tutorial series. Today we are going to talk about an extremely important topic in web design and in design in general, colors. Choosing the right colors is a difficult thing. Even the best prepared interface can be easily spoiled by an incorrectly selected palette. But the right ones can completely change the perception of our work. How do professional designers choose colors for their creations? Contrary to the appearances, it is not just a matter of taste. Color theory comes to our aid, thanks to which we can choose colors so that the brains of our users interpret a given composition as visually attractive. So, in today's tutorial I will tell you what color theory is about and how to use this great and free tool called Color Scheme Generator to put it into practice in web design. I'm Michal from mdbootstrap.com and without further ado, let's get started. The core of the color theory is so-called color wheel. The color wheel is a circular arrangement of colors organized by their relationship to one another. The primary colors, red, blue and yellow, are equidistant from each other on the wheel, and secondary and tertiary colors, that is, the colors that are created from mixing primary colors, sit between them. It's used in the art and design to choose colors and color schemes based on their relationships to one another. These color schemes called also color harmonies, help us to choose colors that look good together. Here are some of the most popular and effective schemes. We'll go over them in detail in a moment. Monochromatic. This one is the easiest to remember, because it's just one color. Due to the absence of other colors, the viewer is left to focus on the differing values and saturation, making it great for single subject shots or dramatic atmospheric scenes. Analogous. Analogous harmonies use colors that are adjacent to each other on a color wheel. It's frequently seen in nature, making it great for creating a calm, comfortable and peaceful mood. Triadic. This one is probably one of the hardest to pull off well. It's three colors that are equally distant to each other. It's hard to do because if used in equal amounts, it can create ugly chaos. It's best used for cartoon style scenes since the colors can look almost childish. Complementary. This one is definitely the most popular. Colors on opposing side of the wheel. They just naturally go well together. A common misconception is to use equal amount of each, but this will more than likely create ugliness. You want to choose one color as a predominant one, usually the cooler color, and Use the other to create splashes of interest. Use lots of browns and grays for a better effect. Split complementary. Similar to the complementary harmony, this involves taking one opposite color and splitting it. This is useful for extending your palette when two colors aren't enough or to create a more joyous mood. Double complementary. Just like the complementary harmony, only double. Two pairs of complementary colors, doesn't matter where on the wheel, and you have to be very careful with this one as using equal amounts of all four, because it can create a chaos. It looks best when the foreground is one pair and the background is another. Mixing the pairs can get tricky. So much for the theory. Let's move on the practical part. In this tutorial, I will use Material Design for Bootstrap, which is a free library that greatly extends the capabilities of regular Bootstrap and provides many useful features, like for example, better look, additional components, free templates, and even a free hosting for your projects. To download Material Design for Bootstrap, go to mdbootstrap.com and click big blue Get Started button. Then click big red Download button, and unzip the package. Then open it in your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. To launch MD Bootstrap project, you need to open it in the browser. You can do it simply by dragging and dropping index.html file into the browser window. 
If you use Visual Studio Code Editor, you can also install extremely useful extension called Live Server. It enables a live reload feature, so it will refresh the browser anytime you change anything in your code, so you don't need to do it manually. At the beginning, let's remove an existing content of index.html, so that we have an empty canvas ready to start new project. Select everything in between the Start your project here comments, remove it and save the file. Now we are ready to start our work. In the description of this video you will find a link to the source code. So go there and copy the code. This will be our starting point. Then paste it to our index.html file and save the file. Now go to mdbootstrap.com and in the search box type color scheme generator and click the link. And here we have our tool. You probably already recognize the color theory schemes we talk about. Here we have monochromatic, below is analogous, triadic, complementary, split complementary, double complementary and two extra schemes, generic and matching. Using this tool is a child's play. You choose one main color and the tool generates the appropriate palette based on one of the color theory schemes. You can choose a color directly from the color picker or you can also choose one of the generated color from one of the schemes, copy this and paste it to the hex color input. And then the generator will generate another schemes based on the color that you paste here. I also recommend you to install a small desktop program called Just a Color Picker. And yes, that its name. So that you can easily get any color that appears on your screen. So if you like any color, you can simply click Alt X and then just copy this and you can paste it to the generator. You can also adjust the saturation and the lightness of the colors. But be careful with this, especially with saturation. Many novice designers tend to use the most saturated colors possible because they have the impression that their creations will appear more vivid. However, extremely saturated colors tire the brain a lot and give the impression of chaos. Which, make, which makes it look just ugly. One last piece of advice before putting colors into practice. When you intend to add a color of your choice to your design, always use HSL format, as it's the best represent the concept of the color wheel. The first number is responsible for the hue and can be up to 360, the number of degrees in the circle. So if we change this to 0, it will turn into red. And if we turn it into 60, it will change to yellow, and so on. The second number is saturation and can range from 0 to 100. The last number is lightness and also can range from 0, which is just black, and 100, which is just white. So thanks to HSL format you can easily adjust your colors directly in the code without the need for external tools. So now let's choose the palette we like, let's say this one looks good and now I can simply choose, let's say this color and let's copy HSL. Let's say I want to use this color in the header of the card. So here is the header and here is the inline CSS and the style attribute, background color. Let's use HSL code and then 
I want to use this. So let's copy this hex color here. So it will transform hex color to HSL. So now I can copy this and I'll use it in a button, floating button here. And the last one, this would be nice. And again, let's copy HSL color. And voila. So now if I want to adjust this card and its colors, I don't need to use any external tool. So let's say I want to use a slightly lighter colors. I like this palette, but I want it to be a slightly lighter. So I can simply modify the last variable in HSL colors and change it to, let's say, 48 instead of 38. And now it's a bit lighter. By the way, did you know that thanks to MD Bootstrap, you can use free hosting for your projects? We call it MDB Go and it's really great. Visit mdbgo.com for more information. In the description of this video, you'll also find a link to the detailed tutorial on how to use MDB Go hosting and how to install MDB CLI, which is a fantastic and free supporting tool that provides many useful functionalities. Now, let me just show you how easy it is to publish our newly created project on the internet thanks to MDB Go. I already have MDB CLI installed on my computer, so now all I need to do is to run my terminal and then I need to enter the path of the project I want to upload. So here is the directory where we have downloaded the MDB package and where we have been working during this tutorial. So let me just copy this path and let's enter this. And now I need to type only a single command MDB publish and I will choose NPM package manager and then all I need to do is to choose a name for my project. I will type color theory and then I will accept all other options and after a few seconds my project is available at this link. Let's see if it works as expected. And yes, it does. Extremely fast and super useful. And that's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful. And do not hesitate to write your own ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to join our Facebook group where you can ask questions or get help if you need this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.